Hello, <laughs> I'm back. That was like my fifth time recording it because I forgot how to start a video. It's been a while. I know, I'm sorry for disappearing. <laughs> I have a pretty good reason this time though, and I will get into that in a bit. A disclaimer, this video is going to be a bit of a long one and it's kind of everywhere. So I'm going to divide it into parts and then timestamp them all in the description. So if you want to skip around, you can because sometimes I ramble on. But yeah, that's the intro. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Sup gamers, we're back. <laughs> Part one, where the hell was I? <laughs> so around the time, <laughs> sorry, around the time of my last video, which was September 2022, I got an apprenticeship at a tattoo shop, which is very exciting. <laughs> a bit of a split from my originally original intended career path but it's still within the arts which is all i really care about um i put the video i was editing on pause and for the past four months i've been learning to tattoo yeah i hope you didn't mind me being away for a while to focus on that i'm glad you're here now watching me again um i plan on bringing you some tattoo content very very soon <laughs> part two the originally planned video that video was going to be the vlog of the artist OCAD, artist OCAD, OCAD Artist Alley, which is my first ever Artist Alley tabling experience. Um, spoiler alert, it was very fun. I definitely want to do more, so this video will be a nice reference to come back to if the applications I put in ever get accepted again. But yeah, let's flash back to September. 2022, which is me preparing for the show. Going to the print shop. It's a little crazy. Hello, <laughs> I'm at the park right now, right outside of OCAD. Let me give you a little peek. That's the AGO. Woo! Hello. OCAD is somewhere over there. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Um, oh no, things are blowing away. <laughs> I just finished at the print shop. I was the only one there, so it went pretty smoothly, pretty quickly. Shout out to them. Um, yeah, I think they turned out pretty cute. I'm excited to show you. Uh, I'm taking them all home to slice up myself because the print shop only had those sliding slicers and I prefer using those guillotine cutters because I feel like I can control the blade a bit better. Like I attempted using the slider but then I ended up chopping off a whole chunk of another image. Luckily, this one didn't matter too much because it's just from my test prints. <laughs> Look at how cute these little guys are. Some of the images were leaning on the green side, so I just put them in a Photoshop and tried a couple different versions until I got one that matched my original drawing the most. Yeah, that's all. Um, I feel like I'm pretty on schedule. <laughs> it's August 31st, so. A bit over a week left. Um, I still need to make business cards, a couple zines, and I'm waiting for the stickers to come in. But other than that, it's just mental preparation.
Shrek. What's up gamers? Ew, sometimes I hate myself. Anyways, I'm back from the library printing my zine. And guess what? That was my moment of silence. I made a spelling mistake because I'm stupid dum dum poo poo. Here it is. It says midnight <laughs> instead of midnight. I'm gonna cry! I wanna cry right now. Somebody hit me. I wanna cry. So I'm gonna manually fix everything now because mmm. We ain't going back. <laughs> I was in the middle of making breakfast. Well, not breakfast. It's in the middle of the day. But breakfast food. And I was gonna vlog like a little segment of me being sad because my business cards have been taking forever to be finished and the show is tomorrow but then I just got an email that said they're ready for pickup so everything's okay oh. okay I'm getting a tattoo today It's 3.40 a.m. I finished packing. <laughs> we got Riso prints, other prints, stickers, dishes, um, all the stationary stuff, and then charging stuff and snacks. But yeah, we're ready to go. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Some thoughts about my first tabling experience. The main takeaway is that it was super fun and I'm so glad that I applied with my friends. Okay, you can it was cool to see in person how my art is perceived and interact with people that have an interest in my art outside of social media. It was very validating is what I'm trying to say. We love verbal reassurance. Another thing is that I really felt the artist community. Having studied at OCAD, I never really felt that sense of community, so it was a nice feeling to have when surrounded by like-minded artists, kind of all doing the same type of work around the same age group. Art can sometimes be isolating, so it was good to step out, see other artists, and make new friends. A couple shout outs. I'm so, so grateful to my friends Athena and Marilyn. We make a really good team, and I'm so happy I was able to do this with them. Also, a big thank you to friends and family that were able to come by and help set up or bring snacks, buy art and say hi. I feel so lucky and will always be grateful for your support. Part 3, The Miami Rundown. A fun little thing I got to do was travel for Art Basel weekend. Art Basel is an international art fair that takes place in Switzerland, Hong Kong, and Miami Beach, which is the one I got to attend. If I were to sum up the Miami art scene in a couple words, they'd be bold, sparkly, fun, and loud. Actually, that describes Miami in general pretty well. Besides soaking in all the art and exploring the city, my friends and I spent a lot of time at the beach, of course. The beach was amazing no matter what time of day you went. Also, as a winter girl through and through, I was surprised how much I was enjoying the warm weather during the holiday season. It felt nice to travel again, and I'm really glad I was given the opportunity to tag along and experience Miami. Part 4, my newest chapter. <gasps> Tattoos! Exciting! So now you're all caught up to present day. 
Um, well, mostly I have a lot of content that's still backlogged because I've been procrastinating with posting it. Um, I'm happy to say that I actually graduated my apprenticeship and I'm a certified tattoo artist now. Surprise. Um, currently, I work with a lovely group of people at Sutat Tattoos in Toronto. I'm having a good time, <laughs> feeling super grateful to be surrounded by such supported and supportive and talented people. Um, for my next video, I'll properly share the beginning of the whole tattoo journey. But for now, I'll share a couple clips. Yeah, it's been super fun and I'm excited to share more with you. I haven't had proper costume like the last 20 years. So Cass, how's it going? It's going well. Are well, you breathing? Yeah, so not when I was doing that. <laughs> I have to drink water because I've been talking so much. But this is the end of the video. Finally. I hope this longer piece of content made up for the four months I was away for. Um, thank you so much for your patience and dealing with this massive video. Um, I started this YouTube channel mostly as a way to kind of capture my art process. So I'm excited to bring you a new form of that with tattoo. Please look forward to the next video, which will be a tattoo video. And if I don't, post it within a month someone yell at me seriously and if you're in the toronto area and you want a tattoo hit your girl up i'll see you very very soon until next time peace <laughs>